In chapter 15 of uh, getting to know ArcGIS desktop 9.3, we'll be creating features uh, using the database we started in chapter 14. So go ahead and now, instead of the uh, catalog, we'll be using ArcMap. And in exercise 15a, and this is page 398 of your book, uh, we'll be using existing existing map in 15a. I already have it open for you. But now we want to basically add some water lines to some features that we have. Go ahead to bookmarks where we'll be adding some new water lines, namely in this quadrant here. Well how do you how do you go ahead and, and start you know start making drawing new features? Well we first need to use the editor toolbar, which you can start here. Or if you're something more advanced, you can go to the editor by right clicking and adding the editor toolbar. Either way is fine. Uh, so, first thing we want to do now that we have this is uh, see. Um, start editing. Select the target uh, feature mainly water lines and we want to set the uh, tolerance the snapping tolerance which uh, actually you've already set the tolerance but now you want to see which two features you're snapping to mainly uh, you'll be adding some lines from, from um, two different features and mainly the, the water valves and the fire hydrants so go ahead and click the vertex for water valves and fire hydrants if you want to uh, change the snapping uh, tolerances, which you've done in previous exercise, you can do it under the options and so the, option, the snapping tolerance here, which you can either do by pixels or by map units. In this map, I do believe it's in feet. But again, we've already set that in previous, in previous steps, so we'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, adding uh, drawing features is um, a simple process. You need to use the sketch tool in, in this example. And the sketch tool, you'll see a cross here. If you play with it a little bit, you'll see if you come close to a feature, it draws to it out of manual. Uh, you jump to the feature. And now we want to add a line, so click, uh, left click one time. You'll see this uh, line going behind it snaps the next one. And double click. And now you've added your first water line. Uh, we'll do this again from 813, single click left, stretch to 831, double click. Again, it's important to double click, not single click. If you single click, it will continue the line uh, with a bend. It won't start a new line, so always make sure you double click. And the third line that you want to be adding, the third uh, feature is from 815, one click to the fire hydrant, and then again, double click. Now you have three. Well, if you recall, previously we added the default feature as a main, and while these two are main lines, this one here is not. To do that, it's, it's, again, it's very simple, but you have to go to the attribute table of water lines. You see that the line type is default main. This third one, which is here, it's highlighted. We want to call it a, a hydrant lateral. And that's it for exercise 15A. If you uh, are continuing, uh, you should move on to exercise 15B. Otherwise, make sure you save the work.